Hey everybody, Joe Ori. I'm here on YesNetwork.com. I'm here with, yeah, you need no introduction, Andy Pettit. Uh, Yankee fans will always love the core four. This year, it's Mariano's last year. I know you guys have been together for so long. Uh, being at that press conference was a little bittersweet seeing Mo up there for, you know, maybe the last press conference of, of his career. Well, it is. I mean, obviously, anytime you, you, you know that this is going to be the last year for someone that has done the things that, that Mo has in this game and has been as great as he has. Uh, it, it's exciting for me just to know that, you know, he's going to be able to get an opportunity to do the things that, you know, obviously he's been looking forward to do uh, with his family. And, and uh, But then also it's sad uh, to know that he's not going to be going back out there taking the mound at Yankee Stadium in the ninth inning and closing games out for the Yankees after this year. So, uh, but, man, just it's been a blessing for me to be able to say that I've played with him and to have played with him. And uh, obviously, just if he's happy, I'm happy. Looking at this rotation with CeCe Sabathia, you and Kuroda, and some of the younger arms that you know have really come through the Yankees system here, uh, you really have to like what you see out of your rotation this year. We do. I mean, you know, we, there's been a lot of talk about our offense, and obviously we've got some injuries here that we're going to have to deal with at the beginning of the season. But right now our pitching is healthy and we're intact, and Phil's on his way back also. Uh, but we feel real good about the rotation. We feel real good about the depth of the rotation that we have. Uh, we have Michael coming back in the in the middle of the season, um, so our, you know our bullpen's great. Uh, Mo's going to solidify our bullpen great out there, closing it out for us. So you know it, it all comes down to pitching. Obviously, you've got to score some runs, but we feel like we're going to live or die on our pitching. Last year, you know, you had the injury, but really, when you were in these games, you pitched so well. Uh, how did you feel last year, and how do you feel coming into 2013? Well, I felt great. You know, I was really, you know, uh, obviously I came back and expected to be, you know, effective. Uh, again, there's still a little bit of, you know, how's it going to be. So I, I was very happy with the way I threw the ball last year, um, which obviously led me into coming back this year. I feel like I got a lot left, you know, and, and, and things feel really good this year so far. Just want to stay healthy, get through spring training and, uh, you know, get through the first part of the season. Obviously, it's going to be cold. Um, and, and you're going to have to deal with that a little bit, especially as I, I've gotten a little bit older. I think the cold weather maybe affects me a little bit more, but, um, you know, get through that early part of that season, and, and uh, hopefully we just roll on right through. You know, the goal with the Yankees every year is to win a world championship. Uh, do you have any personal goals in 2013 that you want to do here with the Yanks? No, I mean, not really. I mean, I just, you know, you try to focus on making your starts. You feel like if you can go out there, you take the mound every fifth day, uh, and, and battle and be ready to pitch that, that you're going to be able to have a successful season. So, you know, as far as trying to dictate something on wins and losses, that, that, that's kind of hard because so it's out of your hands, really, um, you know, sometimes. So just want to be healthy. I want to stay healthy. want to push, try to push this staff as much as I can, uh, push the guys around me and, and uh, support the guys that we've got. And uh, just looking forward to doing that. And one more question. Uh, you're so beloved by Yankee fans, and the fans just gave you such an o such overwhelming support when you came out of retirement last year. Uh, what can you say about the, the Yankee fans and, and the love that they have for you and Mo and Derek uh, after all of these years that, you know, you are still and will always be a Yankee? Well, I mean, they're great. They've always been great. And, you know, for me, they, they've, they've pushed me through my career because – when you when you haven't been good, you know they're not afraid to let you know. And 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 for me, it's been humbling, and it's been it, it keeps you humble. It keeps you you know striving to, to for greatness and, and perfection. Almost obviously, you know you're not going to be able to get there, but it it, it, it we know that there's a lot of great expectations, and, and I love that. And, and I would I don't like playing without that. So the fans have always been great to me. I've always tried to be honest with the fans and give them everything I've got. And, and uh, as a player, you really appreciate that. All right. Well, that's Andy Pettit. I'm Joe Oriama. Keep coming back to YesNetwork.com for all of your Yankees needs.